Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Midweek War. We are here to talk Lucha Underground, and my, oh my, what a Lucha Underground. What, Sorg, this is the penultimate episode before, uh, before Ultima Lucha. It's like that episode when you're like, oh, crap, the season finale is next week, but then you realize the season finale is going to last four weeks, man. Yes, um, and uh, holy shit. All right, all right, Sorg, let, let's let's dive into this real quick. What is your, qual es tu palabra para Lucha Underground? Oh, dude. Melissa Santos's cape. Wait, wait, no, so, no, wait, wait. That, that, wait. Is, that, is, that is not one word, Sorg. I forgot what that meant. Word? Cape. Cape is my word. Okay, all right. Spoiler uh, my, alert. Mi palabra es Thanos. <laughs> Thanos. All right, all right, all right. We'll get into it. Yeah, yeah, Thanos. Then I'll go to my my good is. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to say it. Oh no, Sorg. Qual es tu bueno? I think we all know. Sorg. What's the Santos cape? Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Is the best thing on a show. Where you had so much good wrestling, and and you had that amazing training montage with the turnaround kiss, when way, you had the, and you sword. had the the Legion of Doom at the end of this episode talking over a gauntlet uh, of uh, the Infinity Gauntlet uh, of Doom. Um, you know, it, it's it's with with um um uh, Doctor Claw in the back of the limo. You know, it, I am just can't sword. get over I'm, I'm her coming out it. with a cape. Sexiest training montage I've ever seen. It was. It was. And and very pro strong women. Yes. Absolutely. There's a better word um, from that, but I'm not the person to, to know it. Hashtag feminism. Hashtag Lucha Underground. Also, if you're a woman that's <laughs> really into wrestling and would like to talk with us, man, we could use ladies on this show. So yes. I don't have these awkward moments. This is true. Um, but yeah, the, the Melissa Santos thing was just awesome. Um I don't necessarily like how the match ended. I was a little upset about that. But, you know, heels got a heel. So, <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally agree. Mm-hmm. Totally agree. Um, Mi Bueno this week is um, that Ultima Lucha card, though. That got yet another match. Oh. Uh, Seriously, like, I I don't know how we're going to fit all of that stuff into four weeks. Like, because I'll be honest, when they said at the top of the show that Ultima Lucha started next week, I was trying to think of, um, I was trying to think of what matches we actually had on the show. And I'm like, oh man, they don't have a lot of matches advertised. Like, I could only think of like, three or four and now and then they run down the car down I'm like oh god we're gonna be all right guys we're gonna be okay why, why did you even doubt them why did you even doubt them in the first place that we're not gonna have like an amazingly well, filled out cause show because we, we haven't got a lot of official announcements that's why i was concerned because like we got an official announcements for like maybe three or four matches and we got teases at one or two other matches but once they ran down the whole card, which we'll do uh, after we finish talking about this episode, because sort we gotta make some predictions. We do have to do that. I mean, I mean, we. Sorry, I'm writing the wrong thing. Um, we we do have to treat this as a pay per view, basically, because this is it. This is WrestleMania. Yes. This is and Lucha Mania. Sorg, do not look up the card on Wikipedia. No, oh, damn it. Do what, not. What is a safe place for the card? There is probably no safe place for the card. Oh no. I think, oh no. I think I have it in my brain. And there must, dude, I, I want to wait until after we go through Lucha, Ultima Lucha, but legit, uh-huh. there is stuff that got taped that I did not get to see. There were people, That's... there were people at the taping that I did not get to see on my TV yet. And I didn't, I was not there for Ultima Lucha tapings. And as far as we know, we are done. That's, that's weird. It's okay. real weird. So well, you know what, when we do our season wrap on Lucha Underground, if we you have to tell us all about that stuff. Yes, and we, we get Eric and 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 uh, and, uh, uh, and Chris, Chris Chris on. 
Um, yeah. You know, I got questions. I got so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Sorg. Um, I'm losing my mind I, over here. Is this what it's been like for you for three years? Yes. I wouldn't have been yes. able to last. I don't, I don't know, I know how I could do this. Sorg, the, the way I looked at um, you have to remember, I was still watching Impact at the time. So <laughs> it was like taking uppers and downers at the same time. That's that red co- that's that Red Bull yeah. vodka for you. No, no, because those are both uppers for me. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Body hey. hashtag body chemistry. Yes. Um, but sorg, not every show is perfect. Not Best the thing is the doors open to the back office, so they're just here in the one side of this. <laughs> <laughs> well then I'll try and make you say as many awkward things as possible. Uh Sorg, qualis to Malo for this week's Lucha Underground. Uh, my bad is she didn't wear the cape in the match. <laughs> the cape is over, okay. you guys. That, that's that's fair. That's fair. Um. Uh, but uh, poor Melissa, she really tried. Like she she did good for what she was supposed to do in that match, but then she just got like the assisted pedigree was weird. Like they just didn't want her to take a bump at all. <laughs> no, 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 no. She, I want to know. She did come out with a bruise on her leg already, too. Oh, jeez. Well, from that training montage, like maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe that's why he, she initiated the kiss because he dropped her. That's probably that could be a that could be a good reason. Uh, Meanwhile, this week is we're not going to get a trios title match on Ultima Lucha. Yeah, well, wait, so we're still not because he's not involved in I mean, they didn't announce it for the for the card uh, rundown. Unless okay. there's something that happens on one of the episodes of Ultimate there, Lucha, yeah, I mean, is there is definitely they entirely could entirely possible. They could add matches to this. Absolutely. Entirely possible because um well, I mean, Phoenix is booked, but Aerostar is not booked. Um maybe he could find two buddies. Like, Mac doesn't have anything to do. Mm-hmm. There's a few people that are free. Mm-hmm. There, there's a few there's people that be are free. Up. There's going to yeah. be something. Something special. Something special. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I for for the trio style that used to have such a big significance in Lucha Underground, right. they kind of killed it by putting it on, by putting Drago in the, uh, in the Reptile Tribe. Yeah, and there certainly needs to be some resolution to that and they haven't announced anything with the reptile tribe right uh not to my knowledge no okay we'll, we'll see what happens uh, like we could we could still just have the dragons versus the rabbits right at some point and we could have masquerita officially join the rabbit tribe right i mean which i mean that makes yeah. sense we could we could do that that makes sense. um all right so sorg uh qualis to cambia what would you change about this week's little underground that there be more cape. <laughs> All right, Sorg, you have to say something that is non-cape based. Non-cape based. Um, you, you are not. You are not PJ Black. You do not have to be from non- Cape Town, South, South Africa. Non-cape. Get it? Based. Cape Ew. Town. Yeah. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Uh, geez, my change for this week. It was a little awkward where they're just like, uh, you know, oh, put them in a three-way. For the for the gauntlet, and it's just like, wait, but you've been trying to keep it away from him, so you're still gonna give well, him another chance to get it again. I mean, why not? Well, I think the thinking is, if you just make it Crane versus Mill, he's gonna interfere anyway. Listen, we don't want to make our evil plan too obvious here. But but Sorg, that that's why the word is Thanos this week. Tell us about Thanos. I, my, my my change. I just <laughs> wanted to hear a voice from the back of the limo say, fine, I'll do it myself. Like, because that's what Santa says. In, What's in, his in, name? John John Brogan, isn't it? That, Bro, uh, Brolin. John Josh Brolin. Brolin. Josh Brolin. Josh. Yeah. Wouldn't it be great if just Josh Brolin is also this guy? I mean, he can be Thanos, Cable, and the mystery man in the back of Lucha Underground. I'm he okay with that. He can do it all. He can do it all. He can do it all. Isn't he also Venom? I don't know. He's a lot of people. Is he Venom no, too? No, he, no, Holy no, crap! No, no. Venom is the guy who played Bane. Venom is a oh Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy's gonna be Tom Venom. Hardy, yes, that's what I've heard. Is he gonna be Eddie Brock Venom, or is he gonna be like Flash Thompson Venom? I don't know. I don't care. About there's, the there's, Venom. Been a, there's been a few Venoms. 
Yeah, there's been a couple. Make me but, care uh, about yeah. Venom. Side yeah, seriously. Lucha Underground, make me care about Venom. No, I'm kidding. I'm like kidding. Netflix has made me care Venom. about Punisher and Daredevil. Yeah, uh, but I, Sorg, I'm so excited for Ultimate Lucha. I'm so excited, and it sucks that New York Comic Con falls right in the middle of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, really unfortunate, because oh, I don't know what I'm going to watch. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to talk about that. That's what uh, cell phone plans are for. <laughs> that's what Sling TV free trials yeah, are for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to awesome. get your Lucha nuggets somehow. I do Sorg. I downloaded Sling and watched Ultima Lucha last year on a crappy, basically dial-up wireless in my hotel. I can find a way to make this shit work. So we talked about it. this is like Lucha was kind of the proto. I'm not going to mess around with certain things uh, in, in in finding my shows. Um, like so, I was just like, oh, I don't get this. I'm not gonna pay 35 bucks a month to watch like four episodes at a time of Lucha, right? With commercials, uh, mm -hmm. I, I bought, you know, I bought them outright, and and now that's gonna be the thing because the Star Trek thing. Is, since we had some geeky talk, I'm going. The Star Trek is coming up, uh, Discovery, and on you know, CBS on demand, CBS on demand for six bucks a month. It's like I'm just gonna buy it on iTunes, dude. <laughs> it's just because is cause, it gonna be available on iTunes? I believe so. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't mm -hmm. be. I, uh, because, it, CBS, because CBS wants that money. Yeah, yeah. Well, they'd be getting money. <laughs> they'd be getting that money. Well, I, I'm just saying shows on Netflix are not available on iTunes. Mm -hmm. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's not available on iTunes because they're trying to push subscriptions. Yeah, well, yeah, then if that's the case, then yeah, I'm not watching yeah. the Star Trek. You might be in trouble, Sorg. Uh oh. All right. Um, so, Sorg, uh, let, let's do rankings real quick because I think we both know where we're going with this. Mm -hmm. um, number one for me. Number one with a bullet. I'm going to go number one. Okay. Um, Sorg. Let's break down this Ultima Lucha card because okay. holy fuck, let's break this down. Tell um, me what's uh, happening because I'm afraid to search for it. Oh, God. All right. So let's, let's start with... Um, Let's start with an easy match, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, Famous B versus Tejano. If Famous B wins, Tejano becomes part of um, Famous, Famous B's entourage. Nice. By the way, Famous B as the announcer this week was pretty great. Uh, he was all right. He was all right. I, I liked his cast. I wish I could have seen who signed his cast. <laughs> so, Sork, who, who you got in that match? Um, I think we get Tejano. No, 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 no. no. I, Actually, I, no, no, no. I think we get Famous B. Let me flip that because I was, I was thinking, no, say, we get yeah. Tejano, Tejano in Famous B's deal. Um, I yeah, no, no. I, I, think I think it comes around. I think by hook or by crook, somehow Famous B gets in there. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I think Famous B somehow gets a win on Tejano. I don't know how it happens. You either, you either get. Tejano or somebody that you haven't thought of for a while pops up as his new guy to punish Tejano. Or someone completely new, like when he brought Dr. Wagner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, th I think Tejano somehow pulls it off. That's the, oh my god, that's... What? Um... R. Hennis? <laughs> I don't know. Ricky Mundo? <laughs> no, don't you dare, Sorg. Ricky B? Sure. Okay, that too. All right, now, Sorg, speaking of the Worldwide Underground, last Luchadora standing, <gasps> which this means so many different things now. <laughs> Taya versus Sexy Star. Man, who's not rooting for Taya at this point? <laughs> yeah, fucking which hell. Is, I mean, it has so much. If this just happened now... There is so much real life context to this because of all the stuff going on in AAA. Because these two probably legitimately hate each other. Oh yeah, I would say so. I would, I would absolutely say so. Like if they didn't before, during Lucha Underground, because they, they definitely do now. Yeah, like I, I, I think this is a systemic problem, and I mean, this is me purely throwing on my my back to say speculation, um, Uber wrestling nerd hat. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I think, yeah, I, I, I feel like this is nothing new, and maybe this is just kind of the sexy star that there's always been. Yeah, probably. Um, 
So, so who do you think's winning, Sorg? Let's go, Taya. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go. Because yeah, remember, yeah, remember, this is Lucha Underground, right? Hmm. That's why I'm not sure where this goes because, yeah, like, it it's a no DQ this. match, so the Worldwide Underground can get involved very easily. Mm -hmm. I think, but... I think you go Taya, and you get a win for Taya to make up for the Worldwide Underground win. When? Maybe Mundo loses. Okay. All right. Um. Because I feel like you kind of have to end with Mundo. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm dumping ahead, but you kind of have to end with Mundo going under. Yeah. Um. I'm I'm thinking that Sexy Star wins here because um she's already won a no moss match, mm -hmm. so her being last luchador standing also kind of makes sense for me. Yes. Or with CG, they change the end of the match. Oh, that would be amazing. Well, with CG, you have Rosemary attack Sexy Star. <laughs> that's that. If you can do CG, it goes dark. You see Rosemary. It comes out. Sexy Star is bloody in the middle of the ring. Yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think Sexy Star is taking it. All right. Um, so next match, Sorg, a ladder match for the gift of the gods. Son of Havoc and Pentagon Dark. Because, sure, why not just randomly throw a ladder match at the end of the show? Match I didn't know that I wanted. <laughs> match I didn't know that I needed. Yeah, exactly. Like, in my life. Like, oh, not even geez. once. This is just, oh, I need this. And I have seen plenty of matches with uh, a guy that looks a lot like Son of Havoc in, in the Indies and filmed a couple of them, too. Uh, and, yeah, no. That's, I mean, yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. And and I feel yep. like I man, who do you want? Does this is this son of havoc coming around after all this time and finally getting his moment and getting a title like this? Or is this Pentagon after all this time and being badass finally coming up and getting his title? Like you want both of them to win really, really bad, probably. Mm-hmm. Um all right, so Sorg, who who, who you got? Who you got, Sorg? I want the guy that looks like friend of the show, Matt Cross, to win <laughs> for personal is reasons. That, is, that who, is that who you think is going to win or who you want to win? I don't know who I want to I don't know who I think is going to win because both those storylines I just laid out make sense. Right? Yes, it does. Like, it's a yes, great, it does. it's a great, you know, and if, you know, I, you know, as, as we talk, we'll talk about other places, like, I, I, I'm going to take in my head this as what if this is the last Lucha Underground ever and how I want to go out on and I want that to be Son of Havoc with the Lucha or well with a Lucha championship. Okay. Um Sorg, I'm also gonna go Son of Havoc, but I'm going Ooh. for for different reasons. Okay. Because uh, and I'll get I'll get into it. Um Sorg. Mask versus hair. <gasps> Phoenix Marty the Moth, who you got? Um, besides an orgasm, who do you have? I think is Phoenix like Phoenix is Phoenix in like AAA and stuff, right? As far as I know, yeah. I'm going. Um, I think Phoenix wins this. Yeah, I, I think he has to. Like when, when I was watching the the mixed tag match, mm. I I was thinking whoever loses this match has to win at Ultima Lucha. Mm. Like just kind of has to win. So I, I think Phoenix has to do it here. Plus, Marty will look even creepier bald. <laughs> yeah, he would. <laughs> I'm I'm thoroughly convinced of this. I yeah, I I think that has to be where we're going with this. Um, all right. So Sorg, next match, um, for the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> it we just, have, it's just like it's the Infinity Gauntlet, guys. That's I'm just, just calling it that now at this point. Jeremiah Crane, Mil Muertes, and Cage. Um, is this just Goku versus Frieza where the planet Namek explodes? Is that, <laughs> is that what deep, we're talking here? Deep geek cuts. Holy crap. Yes. Or is this like the Cell games where Cell just destroys the arena before he and Gohan fight? Like, I don't know what's going on here anymore. Like... Uh, Part of me wants to see Mill win 
just because it, like the most unexpected is Jeremiah Crane winning. Mm-hmm. The most expected, I think, is Cage winning. So I want to see Mill, and I think Mill needs a big win. I think Mill getting it would be the most evilest thing ever. Yes. Okay. Okay. Wow, we're we're agreeing. I don't a lot think there's any justice for for Solomon Grundy Jeremiah <laughs> Solomon Grundy born on a Monday. <laughs> By the way, we still have to talk died about the end Tuesday. of Gotham. The end of Gotham. Died, died on a Tuesday. Yes, I'm going to get into the talks exciting about Gotham. Resurrected on a Thursday. Yes. Yeah. Um, no. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it to Cage. Okay. Wow. Okay. I, I'd like I'd like to see Mill win, but I'd almost but also, like what, to see Cage win more wait, what so they, that the mega boss comes out. Yeah, I was gonna say, and then that ends up being oh, who like you be? almost kind of have to have Cage win so we see who this. Let's man have it. Let's have an extra guess. Yeah, you kind of because they put that out there, so it kind of has to happen, right? So who? Is... I mean, you could you could also has that have that as the stinger for a potential season four. Absolutely. So who ends up being the big boss? Let's say it's gonna let's say it's gonna be somebody from something else. Well, he ha- he has a cigar. He just ends up being I, Zeke. I I hope it's Zombie Big Rick. <laughs> I God help me! I want it to be Zombie Big Rick. And he's like like you don't even see skin color when anytime you see him. And the best thing right? is like I want him to have translucent eye patches over both his eyes. <laughs> wow, <laughs> because why not? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why okay. the hell not? Okay, all right, all right. Where like both his eyes are white and he looks like Raiden. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, like. Uh, all right. Well, speaking of Mill Sorg, this is a match I didn't think we were getting, but I'm very excited that we are. Eva Lee versus Katrina. We are getting that. We are getting that. We did announce that, and then she got hurt, like at the beginning yes. of the season. I'm very excited that we're getting that match. Some. Like a year ago, we announced this. <laughs> so. mm-hmm. All right, who who you got, Sorg? I uh, uh, Eva Legas, because. Um, I I think if Katrina can still teleport, she wins. You're right. However, I I don't think do you, that will be wait, possible. Wait, do you think she's doing teleportation in the match? Taker does it. So does Bray. Yeah. Okay. You're you're right. You're right. It's not. <laughs> it's, a... it's not entirely uncommon in professional wrestling. Yeah. yeah. Sabu. Sabu's teleported. Sork. Yeah. Yeah. And he doesn't really label himself with mysticism at all. This is true. Uh, but yeah. No. I I I think Evelise will win because it'll be like her return. So I th- I think I think she's gonna win. But I would like to see Katrina win if she can teleport. All right, Sork. Uh. As to my recollection, because I'm not looking up anything Lucha because, you know, spoilers. Um, we have two more matches left. And this one, I think, is the one that was teased to us very long ago about how violent and brutal. The Hell of War match. Wait, what? Between Wait. Killshot and Dante Pong. Is that what they're Killshot calling Killshot and Dante Pong. The Hell of War. Holy crap. Sorg, it's a three stages of hell match. No, that's gonna be a whole yep. episode. Yeah, that's gonna be a whole episode. Like, I assume that's gonna be the second episode that's going to be hard for me to watch because I'll be at Comic Con. But, but yeah, the Hell of War match, Dante and Kill Shot. I, I just need to see this. Mm-hmm. I don't know who's gonna win. Part of me doesn't even care who wins. I yeah, just want to I'm. See I'm. I'm just like, let's see what this concept is, because I. I don't think you can judge anything on that. Because the WMD match was insane, mm-hmm. and we were told that something happens even crazier than that. Mm-hmm. So, I part of whoever ends up being the face, I think wins. And right now, I don't even know which one of them is the face. But given that Dante Fox um, wrestled this week and kind of snuck out a win, I want to say that he loses. And that kill shot wins. How about you, Sorg? 
I, I, again, I just want to see how this goes. I don't think there's any context <laughs> for anything known in professional wrestling. Yeah, I, I just need to see this match. This match, I have no idea. Because we already have, oh, there's another match I forgot. And I just remembered it now. Um, We'll get to that. But Sorg, we have a steel cage match. We, we do. have a ladder match. We do. We have Master Sarah. We have career versus title. We have last luchador standing. What the hell stipulations are left for this <laughs> the hell of war match? I don't know. I legitimately don't know. I'm assuming the third fall is going to be a false count anywhere. Yeah, that ends up, I, I don't know, on a minefield in the parking lot. Maybe a submission match? Or or a no moss? I don't know. Like, there's a lot of ways that they can go. But uh, Sorg... I forgot we have a steel cage match. Mm-hmm. Latan Sequeiro versus El Dragon the Second Junior. Yeah, yeah. Because, sure, let's 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 kill a man. Let's kill a man in a cage. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny that Matanza spent most of the first season inside a cage, and he's going to spend potentially the last episode inside a cage. <laughs> I like that. Like, but is there a key? Does the key work on the steel cage? I think it should. It probably won't, but it uh-huh. should. But I don't know why. I think if he doesn't die, Dragon the Second wins. Like I could see this being the first in-ring death in Lucha Underground. It could be. If you're going to do it, this is the yeah. time to do it. Um. All right, Sorg. Who, who do you got for that match? Um, Azteca needs to pull it off. Okay. All right. Because you got to remember, not many people have actually beaten Matanza. Yeah. And, I mean, it could be the coming of age turnaround for him. Okay. All right. Either that or like maybe, like, Ghost Dragon Azteca Sr. comes out and helps him. I don't know. That could be fun. Um. All right. So, Sorg, we got the main event. Main event time, Sorg. Career versus title. Prince Puma versus Johnny Mundo. Who you got? Puma. Gotta be Puma. Okay. All right. Sorg, do you know who I have? Let me me kind of also preface that. Puma also, in doing so, goes full dark. Okay. Um, I have Son of Havoc. I have Son of Havoc, Sorg. What? I have Son of Havoc winning the gift to the gods. And because he's already told Dario that when he wins the gift to the gods, he's making it a triple threat match. He can count that as telling Dario beforehand so that they can put him in the match. Oh. And we end Lucha Underground. And the best part is, Sorg, if you remember... I forgot that that was dropped episode, in there. They did that when they announced Gift of the Gods? They did that when they had the backstage segment, when they put in the uh, when they put the medallions in the belt. Oh. But, Sorg, if you remember, all the way back at, I think, the beginning of this season... um. Dario Cueto promised Son of Havoc a title match at Ultima Lucha 3. Oh, no, that was, that wasn't even Ultima Lucha 2. And then he um, he lost that right when he lost to Dr. Wagner, I believe. Wow. Deep cuts. Real deep cuts. This. And I, wow. I think that's intentional. I think that's purposeful. And I think it makes all the sense in the world because I think they probably knew that Puma was going to leave Lucha Underground and that Johnny might leave Lucha Underground. So this is a way that you can keep someone who you know is will come back for your show and you can have a champion. So yeah. I think it's I think it's out of havoc. We also have no idea where they were at last year about thinking this about is that. True. Was, was Mundo on his way out or Mundo wasn't, but I think Puma was. And also you also have to think like we, we you know like I said we say like I'm treating this like it's the last. And again, you know, they didn't know at that time whether there would be another one. So I think they booked the same way. They're like, hey, if this is the last one ever, this is how it's going. 
right? Mm -hmm. Just like just like that, you know, that first one. If this is the last one ever, this is how it ends. Yeah. So. But I I, I really think it's going to be Son of Havoc. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be Son of Havoc, and I think he's going to – I. Yeah, I, I really think that's where we're going with this. I really think that's where we're going. All righty, Sorg. Uh, so next week, Ultima Lucha. Where can people find you on the internet? Sorgatronmedia.com. And uh, check out uh, a lot of these guys we talk about. Again, Matt Cross. That looks kind of like Son of Havoc. Uh, and guys like that over at IndieWrestling.us. All right. And you can find me at MadMike4883 on the Twitter machine. Also go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM for when I live tweet all things Lucha Underground and when I live tweet every episode uh, when it happens. I don't know when the second episode of Ultima Lucha is going to happen, but I will be live tweeting it regardless. All right. Uh, so, Sorg, we're, we're, we're in the final. We're in the home stretch for Lucha Underground. Yes, we are. And we'll be back with Ultima Lucha Part 1 next week on The Mid Week.